Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're designing this cool uh, 3D beer animation uh, in Adobe XD and Protopy. It'll take us less than 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's just get started with the tutorial. So before we get started, do join my Telegram channel where we discuss about designs and we also share a lot of articles, videos and much more. I'll have the link in the description below. To do, so to start off with, uh, make sure that you have Adobe XD open up and I've already set up an artboard which is the iPhone 10 and 10s artboard. Uh, now in this, I will be giving you the Adobe XD file in the description. I'll give you a link so that you can download and get started with the whole tutorial process. So first of all, I've set up the Adobe XD beer section and the ProPy chips section. And in this case, I will be using a software which is free of cost, by the way, and available both on Mac as well as Windows. It's called BoxShot 5. And I'll give the link in the description again. And in BoxShot, you have a lot of templates. So I won't be showing you the entire process of making the entire design, but if you open the software up, you get this menu and under, and under others, uh, you can see a lot of other things. So I picked up the chips from here and if I go down, I have wine bottles and beer bottles as well here. If you click on this, it will open up right here inside this three dimensional artboard and then you can click on any beer and click on one of these icons which says materials right here and you can change the label here. So you can just click on beer label and you can just replace the image from here and that is about it. You can delete everything else and once you're done, you can just quickly render it from here. If you click on this, you can uh, set the default settings and you just start and set up where you want the image to be. I will just import it into XD just like this and place it uh, very neatly inside this card. I'll probably give it a slight tilt and maybe make it smaller as well. So once we have something like this, you can go ahead and mask it. Going into the layers panel and inside go in the layers panel, you have this rectangle one. Just duplicate it by clicking on Command D or Control D and you'll have this new rectangle, rectangle four. Make sure this is on top of everything else and also select this Adobe XD beer from the layers panel here. Once you have both of these selected, click on Command Shift M to mask this. And as you can see, I've already masked this inside this rectangle. Now this looks pretty good. Once you have everything in the UI setup, you, it could be anything, you can edit it anyway. Just select the artboard here, go to file in Windows, then there'll be a separate menu for this and go to export. Under export, you have a couple of options. If you have Protopie installed, by the way, Protopie is free of cost. And of course it has a trial period as well. Uh, you can click on Protopie. And once you click on Protopie, it asks you for a couple of options. Import size I've kept at at 2x and artboard I've kept the same artboard that I had in XD. Under these options, uh, make sure that the update layer orders and grouping structure is selected. Once you have that, just click on import. Okay, so once you have everything set up here, your layers will be in a certain order, which is great. Uh, you will need to do one thing before we begin with the interaction. First thing is to go to this container right here. I'll just full screen this. So to go to this container and under container, just click on this first option and make sure that the box is covering the first box on top, just like that. Now, all the actions will be on this container. So if you go to the right here, I have this thing called add trigger. If I click on add trigger, I have a plethora of options here. In this case, we will just click on tap and under tap, I have this plus icon. If I click on this plus icon, I will get this um, move scale options. So in this case, I will, of course, uh, scale some things and then move some things as well. So in the scale, I will basically scale this to all the edges, this rectangle in the background. So in this case, I will click on rather than clicking on container one, I will select the background in the back and in this case the background is rectangle one so if i go back to scale here and i will select rectangle one now rectangle one is selected i will click on factor rather than size in the, in the scale by option and under size i'll scale i'll say scale two 
Now, uh, this will make sure that it is 100% and 100% of the artboard right here. I will also have to make sure that it moves slightly to the 0% uh, axis right here. So in this case, I'll say move to and maybe I'll say minus uh, minus 30 by minus 30 so that it basically covers the entire area and the same duration as the scale was there. Now, once this is done, I can just click on run and then hit preview. I'll have this uh, clean preview here. I can just click inside. And if I click on the container here, once you've made enough adjustments, if I click on this, this will basically cover the entirety of this area right here, as you can see. And I will also move the beer to the bottom and also scale it up. So in this case, I will move it. So I'll say move to, and I'll see, okay, what's the height of this artboard? It's 740 pixels. So under Y, I'll say 700 and maybe 750 pixels. And on the X, I'll make sure it's uh, in the center. Um, so I'll basically maybe say, I don't know, uh, minus 40 since this is covering the entire area here. Uh, I will also make sure that it rotates a little bit since it's tilted here. So I'll probably rotate it. I'll set the direction to this left tilt and I'll say rotate by and I will say 25 or maybe, you know, something less, 10 degrees. That's fine. Once again, okay, it's now pretty perfect. I can increase the size of the bottle, but in this case, we won't really. Um, you can scale it up, whatever you like. Um, so one more thing that we will do inside this is go to my finder. I've already basically, if I go back, I need to trace out uh, this bottle by just clicking on the pen tool. And if you go around this, you can just trace it and then maybe make a, an outline out of it. So I have already done that. Again, you will have all the files in the description if you need. And I have this as an SVG. So make sure you have exported it as SVG. I'll bring this in. And as you can see, I have this little bottle right here, which is SVG. I'll maybe probably place it in the center here and make sure that the origin is from the bottom. So it appears from the bottom. So here, as you can see on the right, there's this region option. And these are, there are these blocks. Just click on the bottom block right here, this center. Perfect. Now what I'll do, I'll just hold shift and increase the size of this bottle to, you know, match kind of this uh, bottle right here. So I'll just make sure that it is matching and uh, pretty much maybe make it slightly smaller. Um, yep, 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 yep. This is, this, is, this is great. And I'll place it towards the bottom like this so that it covers the bottle. So I can quickly preview and I can see whether it's aligned with the bottle or not. Now the beer is very essential in this case. So what I'm gonna do is basically just, I have imported an image or a video from Dissolve. Dissolve.com has pretty good stuff. And this is just a slow motion close up shot of beer with bubbles. And you can either download it for commercial use or in this case, you can just say download comp. And once you've signed in, you can just download it with uh, the watermark, which is not that bad to be honest. Now, if I go into the, my downloads folder, I can just drag this into Protopie and the image is right here in, in this uh, section right here. And what I'll do is I will just hold shift and increase the size as well again so that it fits this entirety of this bottle right here. And if I click on path one, there will be this option called convert to shape. If this is an SVG, it will be able to convert to shape easily. So what I can do is just click on path one right here, right click and use as mask. Now that is all I need to do. And as you can see, the anything above that will basically go into the mask. So the video has gone into the mask. If I uh, go down, if I select the video and I go down in the properties, there is this option called play automatically. Click on that and also select looping. Perfect. I go to uh, the preview and as you can see the bottle is fizzing just like this and that is what all we needed so if i preview it if i click on this and it'll expand and see how the beer pops up as well that that is looking pretty good pretty neat you can again you can increase the size of the beer bottle but i haven't done it in this tutorial and now if uh to to view it on your mobile all you need to do is save the file just like this Save the file just like this and either you can upload to cloud if you have the premium or if you click on this device, uh, it'll show you this IP address. 
um, if you just use your phone's camera to scan this QR, you'll be able to use this. Make sure you have the Protopie Player, which is available both on the App Store as well as the Google Play Store. Once you have that, you'll have a result like this. It looks good, it feels good, and you can have multiple actions. Maybe you can make chips flying out of the chips bag as well. So um, I hope you liked this today's tutorial. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I have done more prototype tutorials, so click on the video on the screen right now to watch that. And I'll see you every Monday and Thursday. God bless.